Andrew Johnson cared little for African American suffrage, allowed the black codes to be established, and uh, was an opponent of the 14th Amendment. Ulysses S. Grant, so bad at his job that being a scandal-ridden incompetent was called Grantism. In fact, he had so many scandals that Wikipedia made it its own separate page. Rutherford B. Hayes sent federal troops in to quell the Great Railroad Strike, practiced Native American removal, and he encouraged their assimilation into European culture. James Garfield. Despite arguing for universal education and thinking it'd be a great background for a new novel, Garfield appointed Lou Wallace, the author of Ben-Hur, to the minister to Turkey. He was also the last president to be born in a log cabin, but he was a war hawk and favored the military draft. Chester Arthur. He signed the Chinese Exclusion Act because apparently a 10-year ban on the Chinese was acceptable, whereas a 20-year ban that he had previously vetoed was not. He also signed the Edmonds Act, which outlawed polygamy, because, you know, if people are different than us and have different cultural practices, they are naughty in our Christian sight and must be legislated against. And he also pushed the allotment system on Native Americans. Grover Cleveland viewed Native Americans as wards of the state and allowed white settlers to settle on their land. Benjamin Harrison, the slightly more successful Harrison. He did little to enforce the Sherman Antitrust Act. He also presided over the Battle of, Massacre of, Wounded Knee. He favored assimilation of Native Americans. He favored the allotment system. He also started a process to annex Hawaii into the United States. He's also the oldest president to have a voice recording. Grover Cleveland again. He used federal troops to end the Pullman strike, expanded the Monroe Doctrine, and was an out-and-out -out friend to big business. William McKinley was the last president to serve in the Civil War. However, he did turn the Spanish-American War into an imperial conquest. He also sought to annex Hawaii. He interfered in Chinese home rule by quelling the Boxer Rebellion, and he did little to respond to the rising tide of racial violence in the United States. Theodore Roosevelt. He was a big fan of the Spanish-American War. He threatened to use the army to both seize the mines and mine the coal in order to end a coal strike. He bowed to pressure from racists and was also a social Darwinist, though he's also the only president to receive the Medal of Honor and the Nobel Peace Prize, though the Medal of Honor was awarded posthumously in 2001, so I don't know if that really should count.